Do you find yourself constantly seeking comfort in your daily routine, yet feeling unfulfilled and stagnant? In this video, we delve into the profound teachings of Buddhism and explore why stepping out of your comfort zone each day is key to unlocking inner growth and enlightenment. Lesson 1. Enhances Problem-Solving Skills Discomfort often arrives in the form of challenges. Whether it's a difficult task at work, a personal dilemma, or a conflict in relationships, life is full of moments that force us to stretch our problem-solving abilities. When you purposely place yourself in uncomfortable situations, you're training your mind to think more creatively and effectively. In Buddhism, one of the core teachings is that suffering exists in all aspects of life. But the trick is not to run from it. Instead, we should face it, understand it, and overcome it. The same applies to challenges. When we avoid discomfort, we're simply avoiding the opportunity to learn and grow. For example, if you take on a new challenge at work that is beyond your current skill set, it forces you to dig deep into your resources. You must learn new skills, think in ways you haven't thought before, and seek out new solutions. This constant engagement with the unknown makes you more adaptable and capable. Buddhism encourages mindfulness, which is the act of being present in the moment without judgment. In the face of discomfort, this mindfulness helps us calm our mind and see the problem clearly. Instead of reacting with frustration or fear, we can look at the issue objectively. This practice improves our problem-solving skills by allowing us to focus on solutions rather than getting bogged down by the discomfort itself. By making discomfort a regular part of your life, you develop the mental strength to face any problem head-on. You stop running from challenges and instead see them as opportunities to grow. The discomfort teaches you that you are capable of more than you ever thought possible. Each time you face a difficult situation, your mind becomes sharper and more resourceful, preparing you for the next challenge that life throws your way. Lesson 2. Boosts Confidence Confidence is often thought of as something that people are born with, but that's not true. Confidence is built over time through experiences. One of the best ways to build confidence is to step into uncomfortable situations. When you push yourself beyond your comfort zone, you prove to yourself that you are capable of more than you thought. Each time you conquer a new challenge, your confidence grows. In Buddhism, one of the key lessons is that we must not be afraid of failure. Failure is part of life and part of growth. By embracing discomfort, we also embrace the possibility of failing. But instead of seeing that as something negative, we see it as part of the journey to success. Through repeated efforts, we develop confidence in our abilities and learn to trust ourselves. Consider the first time you learned to ride a bike. It was uncomfortable. You probably fell down a few times, but after each fall, you got back up and tried again. Each time you pushed past that initial discomfort, you became more confident. Eventually, you mastered it. The same applies to any new challenge you face. The discomfort is temporary, but the confidence it builds lasts forever. Everything in life is temporary including discomfort. When we face discomfort, it feels intense in the moment, but it passes. When we realize this, we become less afraid of stepping into uncomfortable situations. We know that the discomfort won't last, but the growth we experience will. Every time you push yourself into an uncomfortable situation, whether it's public speaking, taking on a new responsibility, or facing a difficult conversation, you build the muscle of confidence. The more you push yourself, the more confident you become in your ability to handle whatever comes your way. Lesson 3. Increases Mental Toughness Mental toughness is the ability to stay focused, calm, and resilient in the face of adversity. It's a trait that many of us admire in others, but often feel is beyond our reach. The truth is, anyone can develop mental toughness, and one of the best ways to do so is by embracing discomfort. Buddhism teaches us to detach from outcomes. We learn that suffering often arises from our attachment to how we think things should be. By embracing discomfort, we are letting go of that attachment. We are accepting the reality of the moment without resisting it. 
This detachment helps us stay calm and resilient in difficult situations because we're not focused on how uncomfortable we feel. Instead, we focus on how we can adapt to the situation. When you put yourself in uncomfortable situations regularly, your mind becomes used to the idea that discomfort is part of life. You stop seeing it as something negative and start seeing it as a chance to grow stronger. This mindset shift is what builds mental toughness. For example, athletes often push themselves through physical discomfort to increase their endurance. In the same way, we can push ourselves through mental discomfort to increase our resilience. Each time we face a difficult situation and come out on the other side, we build mental toughness. We become more capable of handling stress, setbacks, and challenges in the future. Mental toughness is not about avoiding discomfort. It's about learning how to thrive in it. Buddhism teaches us that life is full of suffering, but it's through facing that suffering that we find peace. By embracing discomfort in our everyday lives, we build the mental strength needed to navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and resilience. Lesson 4. Encourages Risk-Taking Discomfort often comes hand-in-hand hand with risk. When we step into the unknown, there's always a chance that things won't go as planned. But Buddhism teaches us that growth comes from stepping into uncertainty. It's through taking risks that we expand our horizons and open ourselves up to new possibilities. When you embrace discomfort, you're essentially embracing risk. You're saying, I'm willing to step into the unknown, even if it's scary. This willingness to take risks is crucial for personal growth. It's in those moments of uncertainty that we discover new strengths and capabilities. Think about a time when you took a risk, whether it was moving to a new city, starting a new job, or entering a new relationship. It was probably uncomfortable at first, but it also led to growth. Each time you take a risk, you're expanding your comfort zone and opening yourself up to new opportunities. Buddhism encourages us to let go of fear and attachment to outcomes. When we let go of the fear of failure, we become more willing to take risks. We understand that even if things don't go as planned, there's always something to learn from the experience. This mindset frees us from the paralysis that fear often brings and allows us to step boldly into the unknown. Taking risks doesn't mean being reckless. It means being willing to step out of your comfort zone and try something new, even if it feels uncomfortable. Each time you take a risk, you're growing. You're learning more about yourself and what you're capable of. And with each risk you take, you become more comfortable with discomfort, making it easier to take even bigger risks in the future. Lesson 5. Promotes Adaptability Life is unpredictable. No matter how much we plan, things rarely go exactly as expected. This unpredictability can be a source of stress if we're too attached to our comfort zone. But when we embrace discomfort, we become more adaptable. We learn to go with the flow and adjust to whatever life throws our way. In Buddhism, the idea of impermanence is central. Everything is constantly changing and clinging to the idea of permanence only leads to suffering. When we accept that change is inevitable, we become more adaptable. We stop resisting change and start flowing with it. Embracing discomfort helps us develop this adaptability. When we step into uncomfortable situations, we're forced to adapt. We have to think on our feet, adjust our expectations, and find new ways to navigate the situation. This constant process of adaptation makes us more flexible and resilient in the face of change. For example, if you start a new job or move to a new city, you're stepping into an unfamiliar environment. It's uncomfortable at first because you don't know the people, the culture, or the routines. But over time, you adapt. You learn the new environment, make connections, and find your place. The discomfort of the initial transition helps you develop the adaptability needed to thrive in any situation. By aiming to be uncomfortable every day, you're training yourself to be more adaptable. You're learning to let go of the need for things to be a certain way and instead embracing the uncertainty of life. This adaptability is a crucial skill that helps you navigate the inevitable changes and challenges that life brings. 
Lesson 6. Develop Self-Discipline Self-discipline is one of the most important traits for success in any area of life, and discomfort is one of the best ways to develop it. When you put yourself in uncomfortable situations, you're forcing yourself to push through challenges rather than taking the easy way out. Buddhism teaches that true freedom comes from discipline, not from doing whatever we want. When we cultivate self-discipline, we're able to break free from the desires and habits that hold us back. By embracing discomfort, we strengthen our self-discipline and gain more control over our actions. For example, if you commit to waking up early every day, it's uncomfortable at first. Your body wants to stay in bed, but through self-discipline, you push through that discomfort. Over time, it becomes easier, and you develop a habit that benefits your life. The initial discomfort is the price you pay for the long-term reward. When we avoid discomfort, we're often giving in to short-term pleasure at the expense of long-term growth. Self-discipline is about delaying gratification and pushing through discomfort to achieve something greater. Whether it's sticking to a workout routine, learning a new skill, or working towards a big goal, discomfort is an inevitable part of the process. But with self-discipline, we learn to embrace that discomfort rather than avoid it. Buddhism also teaches the importance of mindfulness and intention in our actions. When we approach discomfort mindfully, we can see it as an opportunity to practice self-discipline. Instead of letting our discomfort dictate our actions, we can choose to act in alignment with our long-term goals and values. This practice strengthens our self-discipline and helps us build the life we truly want. Lesson 7. Challenges Perfectionism Perfectionism is the belief that we must do everything flawlessly or not at all. It's a mindset that keeps us trapped in fear and prevents us from taking action. When we aim to be uncomfortable every day, we challenge perfectionism head-on. Buddhism teaches that attachment to perfection is a source of suffering. Life is imperfect, and trying to make everything perfect only leads to frustration and disappointment. By embracing discomfort, we let go of the need for things to be perfect, and instead focus on progress and growth. When you aim to be uncomfortable, you're stepping into situations where you're not perfect, where you might fail, make mistakes, or look foolish. This challenges the perfectionist mindset and helps you realize that growth comes from imperfection. Each time you take action, even when it's uncomfortable, you're moving closer to your goals, and that's what matters. For example, if you're learning a new skill, you won't be perfect at it right away. But if you wait until you're perfect to start, you'll never take action. By embracing discomfort and accepting that imperfection is part of the process, you free yourself from the paralysis of perfectionism and start making real progress. Buddhism also teaches the importance of compassion, both for ourselves and others. When we let go of perfectionism, we're practicing self-compassion. We're allowing ourselves to be human, to make mistakes, and to learn from them. This self-compassion helps us move forward with confidence and courage, even in the face of discomfort. Aiming to be uncomfortable every single day is a powerful way to grow, both spiritually and personally. By embracing discomfort, you enhance your problem-solving skills, boost your confidence, increase mental toughness, encourage risk-taking, promote adaptability, develop self-discipline, and challenge perfectionism. These are not just skills for success, they are skills for living a meaningful, fulfilling life. Buddhism teaches that life is full of challenges and suffering, but it's through facing those challenges that we find true peace and liberation. By stepping into discomfort, we're aligning ourselves with these teachings and opening the door to profound personal and spiritual growth. See it as an opportunity to learn, grow, and become the best version of yourself. The more you do, the more you'll discover the power and freedom that comes from living a life outside your comfort zone.